Right guys, here we are. So let me just double check what we've got. So two kinetics and a thermal, and that will give us 91 kinetic, 83 thermal, and that's bang on for us. Cap stable, everything running, cap stable. That's what you like to see. Right, let's have a look at ammo. So we've accepted it. Let's have a look at ammo. Um, pretty good. Let's just swap that. Okay. Jobs are good in. Right, let's go to Tarakai and do this. We need to bring that back. So de defeat the pirate duo and receive the stolen special delivery. So I should go straight into your cargo. And that's plenty of room, plenty of room. There we are, we're in my favourite ship of all time. You know when you just feel so comfortable in a ship, in certain ships? Well, this is mine, very worn, worn in armchair. Oh, my very old pair of slippers. Just fits like. It's part of you. Great ship. <clears throat> I mean, I could just do this all the time, all missions, but it'd be pretty boring. It's nice to use other other ships. So, Kaka Keller. Map drive active. I did accept. Oh, I did. It's there. Look. Can tell you've accepted it because it's there. Ugh. So we're fully loaded. Got enough ammo. Got the hardeners. We're good to go. It's my second stream today for the level fours i've been streaming most of the uh, most of the afternoon with um with jitter i don't know if you guys know i have a, a stream just there's a camera ship just on jitter 44 you know station 44 the the station and uh, i just like to just put it on there and people like to see what's happening in jitter so it's been pretty uh it's been pretty um, positive, you know. Got a lot of um, subscriptions from that as well, which is great. Could do with some more. And some more. I need to get my watch time up, guys, you know, the hours. So if you get a chance and just watch them, you don't even know you have to watch them, just leave them running. But I just need some hours up on that. And then we hit the magic figure and then we can really start doing some stuff. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. Okay, let's warp to location. Let's get everything on. Handers are on, computers on. And away we go. Excuse me, I'm tired. It's not a massive mission, it's only 2,200 loyalty points, so I'm not seeing, I'm, I'm not imagining anything too taxing for the Tengu. Drive active. 
don't mind that skin actually. But I'm gonna buy that other skin. I like that one. Well, let's get those off the. Uh, so these these have to die now. Straight away, they need to. No, oh, spider drones, pain in the ass. I won't even bother shooting them yet. We'll just watch the speed. Pew. They're on me straight away. Anyway, they can be on me as quick as they want. We'll just orbit this at current distance. See, they whip around, they burn to you like, they're like grease lightning and then they just slow down and you can kill them. What's the point? There you go, look. Slow dry down. Take a while to kill him, but you can kill him. You're gonna die, boys. Put the afterburner on, but I am webbed. This one's about to die. We'll get the other one. Jesus, that's quite noisy, guys. I'll just adjust the volume on that. Ooh, that's noisy. Blimey. One down, speed picks up. We'll kill you, though. sort these two out 1.2 million both of them each not bad <clears throat> you bear in mind I used to get that in every uh, in every asteroid belt up in Nullsack you'd have at least two battleships in most of the most of the spawns 1.8 million I think the biggest were and you just be burning through the belts just keep literally on auto just literally just grinding through the belts there we go so a little gits are out of the way maximum speed on the uh, afterburner is 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 reached And away we go. A module has run out of charges. Till we run out of ammo. Don't know if any of you guys have um, looked at setting a tango up. I know one of the lads has. He's uh, he's impressed with it. I mean, it is down to it's down to skills as well. Implants wise, I've only got damage implants and and um, flight times extended slightly with the implants on in her. I've got nothing really that. So, yeah, so rapid launch, shield operation, long range targeting, missiles, heavy assault missiles, and that's it. The rest, these are just uh, plus fours. That's it. Nothing, uh, nothing really that you that's in there for, you know, for all it is is just out, um, just missile damage and range. Come on, Mister. Let's say goodbye. There he goes. We'll start on the other one. Boom. Okay, 
she's trying to run away. He's realised he's doing, he's doing no damage. Well, very little. Three. Boom. See you later, big boy. There's the cargo, guys. We will go to that. I thought it dropped it in, but it doesn't. Never mind. We'll go to this cargo now. Let's empty this. We're done. Let's go back home. So you've got a um, flight range of 44 kilometers. And the damage is pretty good. 11, 1150, was it? Where are we? 1158 pretty decent the hell <laughs> two, 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 four, 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 four. and the rate of fire is there you go one 1.92 say under two seconds rate of fire so that's a salvo every 1.9 seconds of 1180 damage that's pretty good yeah it's pretty damn good as you can you put that set up together guys you can really rip through some of it um, between the Tengu and the Rattler, which one is more fun? You know, I've I've not really flown the Rattler. I've flown someone else's, um, but the Scorpion, the Navy issue Scorpion, that is fun. The Tengu is like, like I was saying, the Tengu is like a pair of old slippers you know you can rely on them nice and comfy and you just slot into them but the the um the scorpion navy issue love it it's got a great tank on it but i, I do love matengo that has been with me for the past two three years this fit has been with me a good two years a good two years more and it's done it's done uh, 8 out of 10s, 10 out of 10s, it's done um, anomalies all in null sec. Uh, don't get me wrong, I've lost a few. But to silly situations where it's my fault rather than the ship failing. But, yeah. It depends what you want to do. If you, I do like to mix, mix and match, you know, have some fun with different ships. But when, you, when it comes down to it... Uh, I'd, be, I'd turn to the Tengu every time, you know, to get me out of the poo. If I was doing something I've not done before, and I was thinking, ooh. I mean, this this has killed uh, officers, all all types of officers. Um, you know, the, the lesser officers, you know, the bottom men ones right to the top. Uh, and it's she's done well. So that's why I always turn to this, because it's so reliable. You may need to tweak it here and there, and I've no doubt if I spent another couple of billion on it, you know. But as it is, 2.6 billion. And you've got, um, you've got faction gear on there, you, oh look. You've got your faction damage controls, your Dread Grister's ballistic, sorry, ballistic controls. You've got your Pith-X. You have Pithium A uh, and Gist, Gist A. They're not cheap, but like I said, no, 2.5 billion. And then you've got your launchers, Caldari Navy Heavy Assault launchers. And everything else, these are all 
standard stuff. Uh, that's Federation Navy 10, 10 MN. Um, missile guidance is just Tech 2. And all the rest is just, well, it's just Tango mods, just strategic uh, cruiser mods. And that's how it goes. I love it. It, um, it does exactly what it says on the tin. Right, let's uh, let's tell her we've done this. Give me my money. And there we go. Uh, I'm up to 688,000 loyalty points. I might... I keep saying it. I might buy that... Uh, that Caldari Navy Raven. I do like that. There's a fit. I've got a fit for that, I think. Sure I have. Uh, Navy Raven. Yeah. Got a couple of fits for that. I think they're both... both they're nearer the same. Yeah. Let's see what that is. It's going to be slightly less DPS. So that's the Navy crew set up. Your range is going to be good as well. So 193 kilometer range. So you can, you know, there's no, I think that's why I put um, a large micro jump drive on the other fit. But that, there you go, there's your 807 DPS. That's okay, but it's not a Tango. Anyway. What's that? Does the Tango have any special, like, Loki? Yeah. Um, well, no, if you look at the Tengu, they've all got the traits, of course, but they're all going to be similar because they're, um, because they're strategic cruisers. So if you look at this, I don't know what the Loki's got. Uh, for Foz has got a Loki, but he's I've logged him out in Jitter. But that's those are the traits for for the Tengu. All of them are going to be similar. Let's have a look. Let's have a look at the Loki. There's your Loki. You see what I mean? So you make it what you want, you know, by swapping. Swapping out the modules, you know, your, your um, there we are, your subsystems. So swapping these out, of course, um, will will either add more down here, take one off there, or take two off there. It really does depend. So you can configure it how you want, yeah, and you can turn it into a beast for sure. <laughs> but um, it's. I I have been so comfortable with this, it's amazing. Yeah, you can swap, but you've got to bear in mind when you swap your subsystems, you will lose or gain. You might, like say, you might gain two on the bottom here, but you may lose two launcher slots or two mid slots. But again, it's just trial and error. That's all I've ever done is just trial and error with the ships. I mean, I've been playing the game since 2005. And it's changed an awful lot. To, I mean, strategic cruisers weren't weren't in it when I started playing, and all we had were things like heavy interdictors or or hacks, you know, heavy assault cruisers and things like that. Uh, and of course, at that time, it was all Apox and Armageddon's. But yeah, but I do I do enjoy. Uh, I love Fozzy and Fozzy's Loki. I've got that fit, fitted up. Different, totally different to this. Uh, but that's more for PvP. Uh, and it's more of a... He's got like a 32 scram range. Um, and a web web range. So I tend to just, just kite them. I haven't used it, if I'm honest, for a long time. Since I came out of Nullsec, I didn't, I've not used it. But you could catch people at the gate and... 
get out to thir orbit them at 30 and they can't touch you with a scram or a web and you can just rip them apart you can hold them down good stuff it's all good stuff but yeah i will um let's have another let's have another mission see what she's got rogue drone harassment now i don't know if you guys use the um mission guide But this is my Bible. I've used it for years. And as you can see, you've got the majority of the missions. So everything on here. So if we look at, excuse me, if we look at, um, uh, let's have a look. She's rogue drone harassment. So it's rogue drones. So let's just, oops, let's just go to rogue drones all the way down the bottom oh. where are you there you go and it's there it's only one it's only one so you click on that there level four and it'll give you the best damage to deal which is em and thermal so we've got em on board anyway so it's not a big deal Damage to resist, EM kinetic and thermal, but if I remember rightly, it's really kinetic. But we'll have a look. Um, and there you have, this is what I like to see. So you've got, it tells you, and it, it's usually the small ones, the, the, the lights, and they're the ones that will web you down and they'll scram you. So these are always a priority to take out. So let's, I think I might just leave the fit as it is. We'll accept that it's, it's bloody hell, why is it right over there? It's only 3,700 loyalty points. So let's accept that. Okay. Yeah, I do. I've only really just started messing with that Scorpion, uh, the Navy Scorpion, and I really like it. It's it is it's different. It's totally different from the Tango, but it's a really fun ship. So I may get a Rattler. I think I might get a Rattler and just give that. Um... I mean, that should be a beast. The Rattler should be a beast. It should tank everything like, just like the Tango does. It should. I think I've seen a fit. I think it's uh, about a 4.7 billion uh, fit for a Rattler. So I'll have a look at that. You never know. I can't get it with the loyalty points. It's a shame. It's a shame you can't just get because um, I've got the I've got this Scorpion, but hey, well the Navy Scorpion. So what you is it Gam? What Gam? What are you flying right now then, mate? Web drive active. Are you there? Ah. Right, okay. Um, how are you finding it? Okay, the scope is so you're going with you going with heavies on a scope. I mean what's your Ah okay, okay. I mean I would as a when I first got or when I first created Anita I wanted her to I started doing Galenti at first and I thought no I want her to be pure Gal uh, pure Caldari and that is what I did I just focused on all missiles all her missile skills are uh, they're all they're all maxed out near enough uh, there's so I defend the missiles I don't bother but if you look at that um, extra large cruise missiles, of course, are for are for the Phoenix, the um, Dreadnought, which I don't really bother because she flies a Moros. 
but you can see they're all maxed out. Uh, again, auto targeting there. Don't touch those. So I, I want it to go that that direction. But you you learn very quickly what ship takes what as far as um, as far as your like with your scope it'll be cruise at least cruise missile. But um, I've I've done a raven a top a top raven. Obviously, you need it to be tanky because it, it's top, so you're not going to be at a massive range. Uh, and I had a raven, a top raven, so and that did really well. And that was years ago when I didn't have maximum skills, maximum uh, like she has now. I mean, she can she can go right out to about two hundred. I think the maximum's two hundred. 225 is it kilometers or something like that a bit more and she she can she can literally go that far out and just kill anything with cruise missiles from that distance because the cruise of course she's got the missile skills so the cruise the cruises burn that that far Yeah, but the the heavy, so the they really I would only look at heavies for things like Drakes, you know, uh, battle cruisers. They they they're not you're not going to max out your DPS from heavies on a battleship. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think I think that oh god, it's this one, isn't it? Yeah, I would obviously push towards your cruise. I mean, I've got heavy assault on here, which is awesome. So, for level four, what should you go with? Uh, I would, if you're going to use heavies, then you may as well train up heavy assault and get a Caldari Navy Drake, and you should find that quite an easy. Uh, an easy ship to you shouldn't you shouldn't be too far away from that. If you're in the scope, you should be able to get into that and give that a try. Because uh, your you DPS from you won't have the range because heavy assaults. You know you probably have to have like I've got in here a uh, missile guidance computer with script. Just because I've got what a range of forty four. Uh, if you're using scourge heavy assault. Uh, you've got two types of raids. You've got the Scourge and you've got the Javelin. Javelin uh, will take you to 79 kilometers. If I swap now, I could get 79 kilometers, but your DPS halves. Near enough. But it's just it's just experimenting yourself, you know what I mean? I, I never really had anybody tell, you know, I never really asked, I can't say tell me, because I never really asked, I just sort of experimented myself, just buying ships and fitting them, and just getting them to where, uh, using all the traits of the ship, of course, you know, because the bonus is like your Caldari, uh, Caldari Navy Drake, or your Caldari Navy Raven, or the, the even the um, Navy Issue Dommy. You know, it's, it's, but if you are Caldari, or purely Caldari, my sound breaking up. Might be me, I might be too close. Unless my wife's doing something with her connection. Am I still breaking up? I might just be too close to the mic. What about that? Yeah. Going for both Caldar and Glenta, yeah. Well, I did that with her later on. Like I said, she flies the Galenti um, uh, uh, Dreadnought, you know, the Moros. And we're just getting to range on this. As soon as I hit this, they'll start spawning in. Tell you what, I'll put the afterburner on, that helps. <laughs> so you're not perfect yet, but yeah. How many skill points you got? Here we go. 
Yeah, how many skill points you got, mate? They'll start spawning in a minute. Well, no, you, your skill points is what your character has. Oh, blimey, I've killed her. Jesus. Um, if you just click on your character in the top left corner, you know, your character's face, your character sheet, and then you'll see here total skill points. Just at the bottom there. And then we just kill some of these. So that's all right. That's good. I mean, some people, obviously, now with skill injectors, you can you can have a two day old character and have them trained up into. Well, if you've got enough money, have them trained up into virtually anything. But um, I would certainly make sure your core skills are all done. Uh, I'd do a little bit of reading if I were you. It's, Plenty of stuff there on on uh, on the Eve, you know, the Wik Eve's version of Wikipedia. Uh, there's lots of stuff there to tell you about stuff, but I would definitely just make sure all the score, uh, your core skills, are uh, are done. It's a lot easier nowadays, you know, for you, for people just starting, as to to when I started. Look at that, I'm webbed and scrammed. Oh, you swines. Damn you all. <laughs> I mean, I've had hairy moments in this Tengu. I mean, I really have. Where I've just been a little bit cocky, got too close. There's so many on me webbing me that I was not moving. It's a good job. It's a good job these... Uh, NPCs don't um, don't nuke you. Bloody hell! Well, not as if it was if it was PVE, you'd have somebody. Sorry, if it was PVP, you'd have somebody nuking you. And that would be it for this fit, because it's an active tank. So there is a passive tank. One more six on the end, yeah, so it's 58 million. Okay. Yeah, you're right. If you watched my last, last, if you watched my last video before this, uh, honestly, I had no sound, and I apologise for it now, guys. I had no sound because I'd turn the mic off. Because when I'm filming Jitter, I just turn the mic off and I'm doing other stuff. But I did that. Uh, in the and it's purely a drone boat, the Dominic's Navy issue. So there's no, there's no real tank on it. It's just the the sentry drones, and they just rip everything apart. But you've got to get out and make sure you're at least a hundred away. And I was getting battered. And to be honest, I just got a little bit too cocky. But again, it still held it. And I've got on on that dom on that dummy. I've got uh, an abyssal uh, damage control that I mutated, and I've got some good resists on uh, kinetic and thermal on the uh, on the structure. <laughs> Way more than standard on it. So even if it had got to the structure, it would have tanked it a little bit. But the thing is, with that, you've got to micromanage your uh, your cap because it does. It's not cap stable. Not like this little beauty. Come on. <laughs> Is that what you call it? Potato. <laughs> it's not the best looking. <laughs> there used to be... Uh, there was a nano dummy. I always remember we were in Nullsec. I think we were in... Well, we might have been in Fountain at that time. Years and years ago. Uh, and this guy... It was when Dominixes were 
that you could nano them and they were so fast it was ridiculous you couldn't catch him and he came into the system and just wreaked havoc you could not kill him he was so fast anyway they nerfed it like everything in this bloody game like the vagabond oh my god that thing could do 9 10 11 thousand ms and it was just the vagabond was a mean machine bloody hell those are the days. It does, it does look like a potato, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not the best looking. I think the sexiest looking. I do like the the scorpion, the rattlesnake. I think they look awesome. They look mean. The the black widow, you know, the widow, the uh, black ops scorpion. It's just basically a scorpion, but a black ops scorpion awesome that's mean they're all mean i like the scorpion <laughs> yeah i must admit yeah they are for sure for sure i like the loki as well though not keen on the proteus but i do like the loki they changed they changed that slightly from when it first came out yeah. The Proteus, the Loki, uh, the Tengu. What's the other one? Um, oh my god, brain's gone. Can't remember. So, how long have you been playing, mate? Slaughter. Uh... <laughs> Come on, guys. It's supposed to kill me. So the uh, the route, the fire, the rate of fire on this, on these. If you try and count, it is just under two seconds. Look at that, it's like a salvo every 1.9 seconds. That's crazy. It's like nothing can withstand a pounding like that. Bang on. Right, we'll get to that gate. I think I have to go to that gate. I can't remember now. Hmm. Maybe not. You started in 2004. Ah. Uh. Right, okay. Okay. Yeah, I did a similar thing, you know, in, t in 2014. I've been playing all that time non-stop since 2005, and I just... And you do. Everybody goes through this. You know, you have that... Oh, I'm going to move on. I'm getting a bit... You know, things become monotonous. But anyway, it was a long story. My corp, I was in them folded, and some of the directors robbed a load of capital ships that we had that were ours you know that were the members so there's a lot of uh, upset about that and distrust so I joined another corp in the same alliance they just said come and join us anyway I just my heart wasn't in it then so from 2014 to just before Covid yeah yeah I know you yeah sound very similar to me mate but I do I did I went back to the Alliance in 20 just before COVID 2019 uh, and started again and then COVID happened so nobody was working and all of a sudden all the memberships in the alliances in the whole of Eve just shot up because everyone stuck at home and then we went to war and then it was just full on then and I got the second wind. You do, you get your second, your third, your fourth wind. And it's just... 
Amazing, it really is. It'll never, it's one of those games you will keep coming back to. I've never played WoW. Uh, a few lads have, but they've come across from WoW and just never gone back. But it's, I love this game because you, you have to think. You know, you have to, you have to think. It's a thinking man's game, and that's what I love about it. And it's like with, um, I play Daisy. I don't know if she's, if you've seen any other Daisy videos I've done, and uh, I haven't done a video on Daisy for ages, but I will do. Um, but I like that because again, you, you're, you're, it's a, but you're on your toes, you know, and, and you got you, you got to have your wits about you. Uh, and I tend not to, if I'm honest, I tend not to now go on, um, go on PvP servers. Because I've done it all, and, and you just get sick of spawning, and then dying just as you get some gear together. You don't get round the map, you don't get to see the, the some of the, because they're all mods, modded maps that I go on. So you don't get to see, um, you don't get to see the, the, the extras that they've put on, you know, like secret caves and and military installations that aren't on the standard maps. So I do like to play on the PVE ones where you're up against, um, obviously, uh, NPCs. So I enjoy that. My mates just message me. He lives in Switzerland. He's like, are you doing any more Daisy? <laughs> so um, I'll, I'll have to do some more Daisy for him. Ooh, look at these, look at these potatoes. They all have a hole in them. <laughs> I just love watching them go pop. And all this sort of cin cinematic stuff you can do now it's great people like to see that i love doing videos like this you know just just watching him die getting up close and just watch him die strikes just watch just watching these uh these fat boys die <laughs> i just don't know who was who designed this? It must have been a Friday afternoon design. If you know what I mean. Friday afternoon, everyone's going to the pub. I'll quickly scribble something down. <laughs> Boom. Come on. I love the the rapid fire from the heavy assault launchers. Just love it. I get a buzz from watching that. It's I suppose it's kind of a power thing, isn't it? Look at that. Already dead. Yeah, I would, um, <laughs> I would stick, stick to Kaldari. Once you're where you think you want to be, then then go down that Galenti, uh, that Galenti route because she can do quite a bit, Galenti wise. I think we're done. Yeah, we're done. But I did not do it. I made sure she was sort of f near enough, fully skilled on the Galenti side. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, Galenti don't really do anything for me. It's like the Hyperion and the Myrmidon. I mean, the Hyperion's like a... a <laughs> it's just... I don't even want to say it. It's, it's just... It's like um, an, adult, an adult toy. <laughs> if you know what I mean. I mean, I've got some fits, and I've had a few Hyperions, and they, and they were blasters. 
and they were awesome. We used to use them. Me and my mate used to just go hunting for hostiles. We were both in Hyperions, and we could just kill anything with them. You know, I've got to give them the due. It's not my favourite looking ship. Yeah, double-ended. That's what I'll call them. Double-ended adult toys. <laughs> yeah, and what else, Galenti? I first started... I started in a Thorax. That was my first decent ship. I'm going back 2005. I thought I was king in a Thorax till I lost it. <laughs> and then I had a... Oh, flying wing. You know, the catalyst. Oh, what a bloody horrible ship that was. And I got my first Deimos, you know, the hack. With blasters. Oh, that was great. It lasted two days. I lost it. <laughs> I didn't have much money in those days. Oh, dear. Have you, uh, Gam, have you lived in uh, Nullsec then before now? Mimitar Rifter. <laughs> I start with an Enemicus, you know, the Galenti, basically the the basic hull for an Enyo. Um, Enemicus, my mate, gave me that because I had no money. He says, yeah, start with this. Well, <laughs> waste of space. But for a while, I was, I was flying uh, scepters. For, for the fleet, I was just flying scepters, uh, maledictions. Oh, it was awesome. Are you a drag there to, to mine? You didn't enjoy it. it. It can be stressful, mate, but it's, if I'm honest, I think Empire is more dangerous. I really do. I mean, I used to farm. I was in Fountain, I and mean, they're still in Fountain. It's Initiative, who I was with. They're still in Fountain. I used to farm two or three systems with, that had loads of uh, asteroid belts. Yeah, we'd get visitors, but you you know, you just do the usual safety things. You know, a line out, whatever. Um, but the money you make in there is, is amazing. I, before, this time round, when I started, when I came back in 2019, I had never had an officer spawn. By the time COVID was over, I'd had 24 officers and I had made billions. And I'm not kidding you, mate. When I say billions, absolutely billions. And I've ne I'd never had so much money, but it was just grinding. And I was doing the belts, officers spawned in, killed the officer. Um, sold the modules. I mean, like, uh, what's his name? I can't even remember his name. The top officer in Fountain. Uh, when he drops his his uh, damage control, that's um, who are you with? Fun time with Northern Shadow. All right. Can't say I've heard of them, mate. I mean, we were with, we were part of the, um, well, we were with goons. And a lot of people don't like goons, but I mean, we, when we first aligned with goons, a lot of the lads in the initiative were moaning and groaning like, what? Because we hated them at the time. But then we became very good allies. Uh, they could rely on us. We could rely on them. And then the war came along uh, against um, against the North, Northern Coalition and all that lot, Pappy, everyone like that. And we beat them. They were literally at the door, knocking on the door. They'd pushed all the way in uh, to Goon Home System. And they were at the door and they turned around and went home because we absolutely ripped them a new one. They lost a hundred Titans in one. In M2, I don't know if you know about M2. 
That was just crazy. North Alliance. <laughs> Mate, I've been all over the place. I was in Fatal Alliance. Uh, yeah, Fatal Alliance. Years ago with Sister Bliss, who is one of the main FCs for Initiative. Let's say I've completed that. Sweet. Okay, so I am. What what time are we on? Should we do one more? Let's do one more. See what she's got to offer. Silence the informant. I like this one. This is a tough one. It's the next door in Rover, so I'll accept that. Let's just check. I think I'm sure I know what it is, but silence the informant just for those who do use this, mate. Do you use this um, mission report? Brilliant. Silence the informant. When you're ready. Things are slow. Am I still breaking up? Right, EM and Thermal. Well, I've got both. And... Ah, cool. Cool. Right, so I'm going to keep it as it is. The Tango does seem to be able to tank most of it, so uh, we'll leave it at that. And it's next door, so we'll do it. We just need to... Yeah, we just need to kill her. Can't remember her name now. <laughs> Have you subscribed to my channel, mate? Just looking. I've got a few, actually. I've really acquired a few um, subscribers this week. Brilliant. I just need the hours. I'm a thousand hours, but I need about, I think... Is it 3,000 to start advertising and 4,000 to monetize it? Something like that. But the only reason why I started doing this was just... Just really, I was doing the missions, doing DayZ, doing this. I thought I might as well record it. What are you saying? So what, what would be... Oh. What would be the best missiles for? Well, it's not that, is it? It's, it's, it depends on what the mission is. You'll, pr you'll find, like I have, you'll find that most of the missions, or a lot of the missions, are either EM or Kinetic. And you'll see there's a, a choice as well. So EM and Thermal, or Kinetic and Thermal. So that's why, I, if you look at my cargo... I just carry EM and th and and, th and kinetic, and that's it. I don't really carry any of those. Any of the others, the DPS is there from from her. Um, yeah, so it's purely down to your mission. So always go to your mission state. Uh, mission, uh, your mission. Dear God, rain's going. Your mission report. Yeah, always go to your mission report. Have a look at your mission, because it'll tell you on the when she uh, tells you here. It doesn't. It doesn't here because it's only silence. The informant is ju is only one one type, and that's it. But it'll say Garistas or Sancha, so Garistas, kinetic thermal, Sancha, EM and thermal, um, drones, whatever. It'll tell you, so you can then you think, oh yeah, it's Sancha. Definitely EM and thermal, so you damage EM and thermal and you tank for for EM and thermal. And that's how you look at it. Not not really look don't look at your ship and think what's best missiles for your ship. That's not it. It's what's your best missiles for the mission. And that uh, the only way that you'll know is looking at that report. So you can say, right, yeah, it's it's kinetic. So I need scourge. Yeah, that sort of thing. Oh, God. Let's go and get these. Shall I put my hardness on? <laughs> I 
Bring it on, big boys. Yeah, but it's nice having a... Uh, just nice having the choice. And like I said, with... With the heavy assault missiles, with rage, they're very short. Short range. But the same same kinetic damage missiles javelin so it's rage and javelin they kinetic yeah javelin will give you a range of 79 so all of a sudden you have that flexibility you know like these you could I, if i wanted to i could switch to javelin now uh, and take most of these out at range but i like i like the dps from the from the rage because your javelin is halved and I just like to just rip through them as quick as I can, which uh, which is enjoyable. <laughs> Let's take this one out. It gets so noisy. Sorry if it's deafening, guys. It's uh, just get noisy. Right, got rid of that one. Let's get these. I'm just going to orbit this now. So as you can see, nothing will bother the Tengu. Do you fancy a Tengu, mate? The fit, I've put the fit somewhere in, in one of the Tengu uh, videos. Like I say, it's not cheap. But it will earn you the pennies. And the loyalty points. And you can literally throw it at any mission. Except the Anomic team. I do that in a Gamma. Yeah. Tengu is a, it is a fun ship. It's so, they're so flexible. They really are. They're so versatile. And they're just... They're so evil. I love it. I mean, you can imagine this fit doing PvP. Obviously, you'd have a different fit doing PvP. But that's, like I say, I prefer to use a Loki for PvP. That really can... can uh, that's really nasty. You know how to use them. But it's all just, just getting you to... Like I say, though, it's, st it's stressful. It's, it doesn't improve, you know, the older you get. I used to get the sweats. I used to get PvP sweats years ago. Bloody hell. Hmm. Jackdaws, yeah, we used to fly Jackdaws a lot um, on missions, certain missions. You see, auto, auto missiles. No, it's defender missiles, isn't it? The, the defender missiles are the ones that automatically fire back. That's a problem in Empire. Because if you've got that, <laughs> if you've got them on, unless they've changed them, you can, Concord will kill you if you auto fire from from being locked. I don't know if that's still true with them. I, I don't know. Oh, let me uh, stop wasting missiles. All ah, right. Yeah, shaking hands and sweats. <laughs> Been there, mate, done it. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, dear. You do get the buzz though when there's I love it when you've when there's say 250 of you in fleet you've maxed out in fact say you've got two fleets 250 in one about 100 not in another and you're all in well tangos because we had a tango fit uh, and it was it was an awesome fit and the day that Pappy called it a day and, and walked away from the fight 
was the day we were sat, 250 of us in tangos waiting for them to arrive and they never arrived. Gutted. We wanted to use them because they, we would have ripped them apart. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, that buzz you get. Love it. Love that buzz. And I do like the big blobs as well. There's a, there's a play, there is a place for them, you know. I used to enjoy being the uh, the booster for the fleet. Uh, I don't know if you remember, it used to be Damnation. And Fozzy, my main, my main is the one, he's 180 million skill points now. And uh, he's fully skilled up on uh, Amarian and... Um, Complete bonuses, so he's got uh, FC5, um, all of them are at 5, so I used to be in a damnation, and uh, and of course I'd be primary, uh, and the first time, first time I went out in a damnation, I was primaried by their Titan, and that was it, no matter, you could have everybody repping me, there's no way on God's earth it they're going to uh, save me from a Titan. But a good thing about it as well, uh, you you got, you know, because I, I lost, obviously lost my pod as well, so I lost the, the mind implant, mind link, um, but everything was reimbursed by the uh, Alliance, so you didn't lose out. But it's good fun. But all the boosts and things like that change now. We'd still do it, but I prefer to be... I know, I like it in the dreads. I, I love it when we drop the dreads. Or the, the nixes. I don't think I'll ever go to a Titan, if I'm honest. They don't really excite me as much as, you know, like your, your dreads. Even your faxes, yeah. Right. I didn't even see her. Did she poke her head up and then disappear? Because she goes to the next room now. Come on. Drive oh, let me reload. Okay. So I'm just going to orbit the gate at 1,000, which is what I tend to do. Get everything on. Oh, just turn that off. Kill the lights first. Oh, spider drones, great. I hate spider drones. Yeah, they are. They are, they are expensive, mate. Thing is, they've been nerfed now. We used to, I used to rat in carriers, and used to have uh, twelve sentry drones out for a carrier. You don't get that now. They've nerfed them all. Uh, you can only have five drones. Blah blah blah. Just not worth it. Just not worth it. I used to love ratting in my carrier. You just sit it there and just tank everything. Still got a carrier for sale down in Hopib. A Chimera. I'm like, if it doesn't sell them, I'll just keep it down there. If I end up going back to the Alliance, I'll need it. My God, I'll need a shitload of ships. God. A crap ton of them. I might stretch to a Nyx. Yeah, it does. <laughs> I mean, you used to drop sentry drones. And just you just sit there and just watch everything die. <laughs> Indeed. It is overkill.
There's only there's only one web in me. Spider drones on long way away. Die. Right. Let's get that mastery commander. So you can see the damage coming in, it's that's a bit of damage, but so I've got nothing. Oh yeah, I'll leave those. They're too far out. I might pick them off. Not that one, but I might pick the others off with the javelins if they don't come in. Noisy. Yeah, they're not coming. Let's get this uh do like these ships. Bloody hell, he died quickly. Sorry, someone's wife's trying to talk to me then. Uh, how does the tango handle? Uh, okay. Of course, you can't have any drones in a tango, but uh, she's fine. She's fine with lights. The main thing with with lights is you've got to get them as they're coming towards you. So there's no, you know what I mean? If they're just directly burning towards you, that's the best time to kill them because there's no transversal then. Once once they get to you and they start orbiting you, then they've got transversal. They still die. They still die. But it just makes it that bit harder. So I'm you know, I've I've no drones and I've yet to fail to kill um any light. Yeah, it's it's not an issue really. Let me get to this Big one. I do love the Macarion, you know. Do love that. That is an evil looking ship. I sold mine. I've got a skin for it as well. I paid a you won't believe this. I paid a billion for a skin for the Macario. But it looked mean. Uh, but these die so quickly to the Tango. Just watch this. Uh, you trying to get away now, are you, big boy? But these are fast. They are the one of the fastest um, battleships. Get it damaged. Look at that. Straight away. And he's gone. Honestly, they're like butter. They're so easy to kill. Let's kill another one. I think. Sounds like it. Let's have changed the... Again, he's going to be dead in no time. So I've got two spider drones on me now. I'm going to make my way to these because they're not coming to me. So while I'm doing that, I can kill those. See, look how fast they come in. They come in unbelievable. I think 5,000 ms. And then they just go... just They just slow down. That's when you can kill them. 
there'd be a problem if they could keep doing 5,000 MS around there. But there you go, look. Is that it? Bloody hell. Oh, there he is. Yeah, I think I might, um, I think I'm going to have a look at that uh, rattlesnake fit. I think it might be overkill, though, but I'm tempted to do. I'm going to have a look at a top fit. Just make it a tanky top fit. I think that would be a, an amazing, an amazing ship if you can get the DPS. If you can certainly, I think you'd, you'd be able to. I'm sure you'd be able to. If anyone's done it, let me know. <laughs> Here's the spiders again. Look at the missiles. <laughs> They're doing somersaults. Jesus. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I've never seen him do that before. Let's get this one. And it's a fast reload as well, which is brilliant. The magazines, it used to be 66 um, per magazine, because uh, I just I had tech two uh, heavy assault launchers on, then I put the, um, I think they're the Caldari Navy, yeah, put the Cal, the Caldari Navy, 70, was it 75? Amazing, really is. That's another, Near enough another ten in the in the magazine. That's that really does matter. Well, I'm just picking them off now as we go. Let's see if I can uh, draw them down to the uh, down to the gate. One month out. Okay. Okay. Let me know where you go, mate. You know, bang us. Um, if you need help with a fit, just give me a shout. We'll have a look. Uh, I'll probably do a video with a rattler before before you get one so um i'll put the fit oh i'll put the fit in the uh below on the video at least you can play with it then are you okay on your modules you know as far as you can use all your tech 2 modules stuff like that yeah and uh oh large uh micro jump drives things like that because they do come into into their own with those sweet Sounds good. Sounds like a plan. I'm going to have to go to these buggers here, aren't I? They're not moving. Just come to the gate and let me kill you all. Yeah, just check, mate. Just see what you... I mean, that's things like that. Yeah, I definitely train up heavy assault missiles as well but but first go for your crews and then I'd just train up heavy and then go th through to crews and then cr train up your heavy assault because I think if you got a ham uh, a ham drake heavy assault missile drake and there was a navy, dra a navy drake I think you'd be uh, I think you'd be impressed 
think you'd like that. A module has run out of charges. I've yet to try that. I remember years ago before they nerfed the Drake. It was a crazy fit. What was it now? It was all um, a regenerative, regenerative shield fit. Yeah. So you had uh, shield recharges and was that was that my twitch? <laughs> Did you hear that? Aha! Uh -huh. Someone's on Twitch. Hiya mate, how are you? <laughs> Thanks for following. Sweet. Let me kill this. Yeah, the um, the Drake was... It, it used to... Th I'm just thinking now what the shield regen time was. It was at like 30 seconds. It was stupid. And you could literally go into any level 4 with this drake and you just wouldn't lose it and it was all regenerative it was a passive tank so it was crazy but then they nerfed it of course like they bloody do that was, an, that was a crazy fit and I used it quite a few times and it was just so good <laughs> it felt so wrong fitting it like that but it worked uh, let's kill let's kill y'all Elora Eva hello how are you thank you for uh, following I'm quite new to twitch oh hang on I better stop I better put my mic on twitch Elora Eva thank you very much for following how are you The Garist the Garista version. Which one's that, mate? Sorry, guys. I'm talking on Twitch and uh, YouTube. The Garista version of the of the Drake. Is that one? I can't remember what that is. Unless it's new. Alligator. I'll, that's new one on me, mate. Shows how bloody uh, old I am. Alligator. Let's have a look. Oh. No. I don't know. It's not something you can buy, though, is it? Or it's you, obviously someone makes it, someone uh, builds it. Yeah, I forgot I had Twitch on. Sorry, guys. Alligator is. Hmm, I'll have a look at that. That might be worth looking at, you know. But I remember we were... Oh, if you get chance, have a look on YouTube and have a look at... Um, what was it called, the video? Ah, oh, was it? Between the Gila and the Rattler. Hmm. Okay, I'll have a look at that. The uh, they nerfed the Drake, but we were using them for fleet operations, and they were talking. Oh, what was it? What was it? Oh, so long ago. It's a video. It's an initiative video, uh, and it's the Drake army, and we actually combated the Drakes with smart bombing uh, Apox. Well, Navy Apox. So we all got in a group together, the Apox. We had logistics, of course. Uh, and when they started firing on us, on us with their missiles, we were smart bombing. They didn't, I think we killed 300 of theirs and I think they killed about 10 of ours or something like that. 
and that was how you combat the uh, the drake. I was just see if you can find that because that is really a fun video to watch. And I'm in the middle of there. I think I'm actually in a in an absolution or a damnation, one or the other. I'm in the middle of that. That is a funny. It's really is. It just goes to show what what you can do when you. I I've got to admire the initiative for that. What they can do, they put their heads to something when there's a nerf on a ship or something, or something changes in the game. The lads just get the heads, the heads together and right. This is what we're going to do. This is what we're going to do, and they'll try it out on sissy and whatever. And. Uh, come up with the right fit to combat whatever's been nerfed or buffed, buffed. I do admire the initiative and I'll never go anywhere else that is home, home for me anyone listening from the initiative, hello boys right, let's go to the next room, I think this might be the last room I bet, it better be, my tea will be ready soon Elora. Don't know if you can hear me, Elora. Anyway. Oh, look at these. Right, this is where I'm going to switch to Javelin. Because these are a pain in the backside. I'm going to have to make my way towards them as well. So you'll see the difference on uh, Javelin as opposed to Rage. Still rips them apart. But you got the range. Okay. Next one. That's the spy. Sorry, the informant. <laughs> Right, I need to get to that one. Let's tell you what, let's use the uh, afterburner. Makes things a lot quicker. Are you from... Gam, did, where are you from, mate? You're not from the UK, are you? Sweet, one more. Ah, Sweden. My mate used to work in Sweden. He moves around. He's in Switzerland. He was in Sweden a couple of years ago. He was in Holland. He's a biochemist. He, he moves around with, well, he gets contracts wherever. Portugal he was four or five years ago. He's a good friend of mine. comes over whenever he comes over we all go out as a group have a meal and a few drinks I must admit he did he loved Sweden said it's expensive but he loved it right we're in Ranger have we oh we've not killed a yet okay <clears throat> but I think that's it anyway there's no uh, do I have to kill the... Let's have a look. Do I have to kill... I don't know. Just there. Uh... I'm going to kill all these, but I think if I just kill her, it'll, it'll uh, complete the mission. But you can see, I mean, 841, 966, damage 1269 from the javelins, so it's still... Still decent. And he's dead. Right. Cinnables. I like Cinnables as well. Do you like the Cinnable? That's another evil ship. They're all faction these are all faction ships, but I do I do love the Cinnable. I've flown a few of those in my time. 
Oh, she's putting down some DPS. See, that's where my tank will be. Because I didn't change my tank. Only because I knew the, you know, the booster would, um, would, would cover it. Okay, so that should be mission done. And the bitch is dead. <laughs> yeah, we're done. So I'm not going to kill that. Let's go back to a mocker. Yeah, I need to do, um, I need to remember that I'm on Twitch as well. <laughs> I can't cope with two at the same time. I like to focus on something. Mm -hmm. They, I, I do like it. And you can, you can, they, they're very good for, for, um, they're a good fit. They're like, they're like the Vaga used to be. Um, they're a nice ship. Yeah. Yeah. I've not had much to do with them. I've had the, um, uh, God, what did I have out there? It was the, what's the battleship called now? Oh my God. What's wrong with my brain? But I just didn't use it, so I sold it. I had a Nurgle and I had the... Uh, what's the battle cruiser called? Oh, but I never used them. The the only one we used more than anything uh, was the Kikimora. We used those all the time when we went into enemy space, and we literally were tightened in, and we killed <laughs> we killed the rock holes, <coughs> ice mining. Oh, that was fun. <laughs> I did a, we did a lot of those. There'd be like 100, 150 of us. Uh, we just drop in on them, kill the rock all in and get out before their rescue fleet arrives. Drekovac, yeah, Drekovac. Um, I love the look of the Drekovac and I used it a few times, but again, never really got to use it. And I trained everything, you know, I trained for it. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. But again, but again that was Fozzy. I trained on Fozzy. Fozzy TV is my main. Anita's always his alt, I'm afraid. But she does all the missions. Right, complete mission. Excellent. Flipping X, 700,000 loyalty points. I'm going to have to spend it on something. It'd be rude not to. Right, I'm going to disappear, mate, because my food. How old are the ships? What sh which ships? Oh, right, no. See, they're new to me as well. Um, I'll have to have a look at... I mean, there's so many to look at and to play with. Uh, I'm looking forward to it, to be honest. Just need to get my hours up. <coughs> Excuse me. Get my hours up um, and just make this start paying for itself. Because I have sort of committed a lot of time to it. Um, I'm lucky enough to be off off work right now. Not lucky enough, but I, I, I'm off work with my health, so I thought I'm just going to just throw myself into the games. And, uh, yeah, millions of videos to do, but I'm up to like 189 videos or something, but I'll do more. Um, I've got the time, so, yeah. So, anyway, I'm going to disappear, guys. Gam, it's been a pleasure speaking to you, mate. I'm always on here. If you ever fancy a chat, I'm always around. Um, just look out for us. If not, you'll see the uh, Jitter feed. It just I just stick Fozzy in the camera ship outside Jitter 4.4, and it's just, hey, just summer, in it? If I'm not doing missions. <laughs> All right, mate, take care. It's been a pleasure. 
I'll speak to you soon, buddy. Take care, guys. Thanks again. If you if you please subscribe, that'll be great. Thank you. <laughs> See you later, guys. Mm.